Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in this session we are discussing CD4081 IC it may be HEF4081 CD4081 or generic number 4081 we will see its function how it works and what are the common failures when we are troubleshooting in the circuit what is the pin out let's start it is a quad 2 input AND gate. AND gate is a basic element in decision making devices. It is a logic component. It have two or more than two inputs and one output. A, B, these both are inputs. Y is output. Sometime X, it is a name. A dot b is equal to y it is using dot function it is using multiply function this ic is cmos ic 4081 series is cmos ic when it will receive a voltage level which is mentioned in its data sheet first we will see its vdd voltage supply voltage it is 3 volt to 15 volt if we are using TTLIC 74 series or 54 series that are working in 5 volt range but this IC it have wide range 3 volt to 15 volt when we are applying different voltage ratings if we are working with 5 volt at that time voltage less than 2 volt will VIL low level input voltage 2 volt or less than 2 volt will considered as a logic level 0. This is input. We can say from 2 volt and less than 2 volt in this range the logic level will be considered 0 or it will be considered low. And VIH high level input voltage above than 3 volt it is that condition when we are operating at 5 volt so 3 volt to 5 volt it is logic high logic 1 logic high 0 to 2 volt low level 3 to 5 volt high level now come to this point if the voltage level between 2 or 0 then it is called logic level 0 and the second input B is also 0 the output will 0 0 multiplied by 0 we can prove it in mathematic equation as well if one input is 0 A is 0 the second is above than 3 volt to VDD we can say logic 1 logic level high logic level 1 0 multiply by 1 0 similarly if A input is high B is low this 0 means this 0 does not mean that it is 0 volt it is logic 0 0 that means the voltage are less than 2 volt same 0 if both inputs are high 1 multiply by 1 1 this table is called truth table we can verify the function of this IC using this truth table if both inputs are high the output will high if any one input is low or both inputs are low the output will low this is AND function AND gate logic gate AND if you will see CD4081, it is 14 pin IC. The cut side, here is the cut mark. If you place the IC in this way that the cut is at left side, index mark at left side, the first pin here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pin number 14 that is VDD, supply input. Pin number 7. VSS ground 
return. This IC have four independent gates. One, two, three, four. So it have four gates that are independent to each other. Power supply is common for all, but inputs and outputs are totally separate from each other. So this is one gate. This is second, this is third, this is fourth. When we apply voltage within this window, when we are operating at 5 volt, the voltage level less than 2 volt will be considered as a low input. But when we are operating at 10 volt, at that time the logic level be below 4 volt will be considered as a zero. And VIH less than above than 6 volt up to supply voltage it will be considered high so this window will change when we are using at 10 volt this value will 4 between 4 and 0 and this value 6 and 10 and if you are op operating at 15 volt voltage less than 6 volt we can say from 0 to 6 volt will be considered as a logic level low and voltage above than 9 volt up to supply voltage will consider logic high when it have low output in this condition that must be equal to 0 volt VOL output voltage low level that will be maximum 0 0.05 50 millivolt nominal 0 volt the maximum output voltage can be 50 millivolt for example I apply less than 2 volt on both inputs output must be 0 volt and if I will apply high inputs the output will VOH if you are operating at 5 volt the output will equal to 5 volt 4.95 volt minimum 4.95 volt at 10 volt minimum 9.5 and maximum 10 volt the same supply voltage will be output now come to the fault of this IC this is ground pin number 7 ground pin number 14 is supply 5 volt I connected 330 ohm resistor to cathode of this LED and anode is connected to the output this time I am checking the last one gate pin number 11 that is output pin pin number 12 13 are input this time I connected both inputs to high pin number 13 and pin number 12 high so the output is high because this time the LED and the resistor are dropping voltage if I will open it It is providing exactly supply voltage but under load because I connected the LED at full brightness let me connect one kilo ohm resistor so that will not make a sync current on this IC let's check supply voltage let's check output voltage at pin number 11 this is pin number 11 this this time 3.97 volt because this IC is not used to drive the LEDs but this time we are we are connecting LED to see the output both inputs are high at this gate this uh, this one and this one is high output is high if any one input is open this input is open circuit when it is open circuit that is called floating input floating input or open circuit input is not allowed at that time this IC will not work correctly if we have some disconnection here we can see it is providing 1.9 volt 1.93 and the voltage are varying but if we connect to input signal at that time 3.95 volt and if I will make open circuit for output 
we have 5.1 volt this time the circuit is good when we are testing in the circuit at that time we will find 5 volt but if we have open circuit that is the biggest problem in these ICs when we are working on the boards it is providing 2.4 volt that means one input is open circuit if this IC is connected on the IC base and there is some contact resistance because the driving signal for these ICs is very low it have very low current a low value resistance can drop that signal if that signal will drop if there is corrosion there is contamination between the IC base and the IC pins at that time this IC will not perform correctly and we will find this condition we can see it is giving 2.5 volt sometime this voltage will go high low high low so the circuit will not behave properly the circuit will not work properly at that time we need to verify either any output it must be either zero the output must be zero or five volt just only two conditions there is no other condition than that this intermittent condition this varying voltage will show us that there is open circuit in the input in some conditions the output is stuck high if we change input to high the output is high if we connect one input to low the output must be low 0 1 0 both inputs are low the output must be low pin number 11 0 volt if any input is low or all inputs are low output is low one input is high one input is high one is low anyone is high anyone is low no problem if any one input is low output is low both inputs are high output is high same way we can test the other gates let's check the first gate I will connect the output pin to pin number 3 that is output here 1 2 input 3 output for this gate 5 6 input 4 output for this gate 8 9 input 10 output 12 13 input 14 output okay now we will connect the inputs at pin number 2 and pin number 1 the output is high if you connect high input levels that are same to 3 volt up to power supply that is this level if the voltage are between this level that means the input is high so at that time the output must high that is e equivalent to supply voltage this time we are making load and this IC don't have enough driving current so that means the voltage are dropping here up to 3.9 volt but if you are using with ICs the output will exact 5 volt now if any one input is low the same condition output will low so we can verify the function of this IC in this way I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh